Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just under three months away from its official release by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio that is all set and ready to end the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga itself. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now what's really exciting about this film is that we do know that this movie is of course going to be filled with different revelations that's going to reshape the past and change how we view the past eight Star Wars movies, which by the way could be a good or a bad thing depending on how it's all going to be executed and how it's all going to be written into this film by J.J. and George as well as Chris Terrio. And it's all a matter of, as well, of how the fans are going to react to it all once this movie finally drops December of this year. Now, on top of all of this, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film. And when it all comes down to one of the big plans by Disney and Lucasfilm, this is where things begin to get very intense for the character of Rey and her identity. Now, specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that it's explained that during the rewrites of the film, during the months of November and December of 2018, just late last year, is when George Lucas was significantly involved with the adjustments of the second and third acts of the film in order to change the character of Rey. It's described that George Lucas worked very close with J.J. Abrams of restructuring Rey's lineage in the film that would best fit the finalized story for the final script of the film, where much of this had to do with Rey's identity reveal. It's explained that both George Lucas and J.J. implemented the idea of Rey being connected to two known bloodlines in the movie that is actually based within the Skywalker saga that is said to be bigger than the I am your father moment and is said to be a big revelation that will change the past as well as reshape how fans will examine Rey's power in the film. Now, it's explained that Rey's identity reveal is said to justify how Rey is so powerful in all three movies and was able to stack up against Kylo Ren multiple times, including in this film, and that because of her power and her lineage, Rey will discover brand new powers in the upcoming film that is said to exceed any power the fans have witnessed for a main Star Wars hero in the Skywalker saga. Lastly, it's said that Rey's identity reveal will also have some form of an explanation through two main characters in the upcoming film that will take fans by surprise. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, we do know that Episode 9 is going to, of course, be a movie that's going to really bring us back to the past eight Star Wars episodes. Now, the fact that George Lucas was heavily involved with, of course, readjusting or just adjusting, you know, Rey's lineage and her identity revealed during the rewrites of this movie. By the way, they went under major rewrites in late 2018. You guys may recall that was about the time where they were trying to decide whether or not they wanted to drop the teaser at that point in time. And so they waited all the way until Star Wars Celebration because of the rewrites of the movie because they were changing things around. So with that being said, all right, this particular, you know, part of episode nine is said to be a moment in which George Lucas and JJ came up with the idea of Rey being connected to two known bloodlines within the Skywalker saga. Now, I believe that this definitely lines directly up with her at the very least being a granddaughter of Emperor Palpatine slash Darth Sidious. All the leaks are suggesting that that is indeed the case. As far as the other bloodline goes, we're still not quite certain as to exactly what that's going to entail. It could have something to do with the Skywalker lineage since it's pretty much hinted at in the comics of the Darth Vader comics in 2018 that Palpatine is the one who initiated the birth of Anakin through Shmi, so it could very well be possible that that is their way of making her a quote-unquote Skywalker and Palpatine at the same exact time, and I can really see how that would make a lot of sense there. So, with that being said, the fact that George Lucas and J.J. are aiming to make this identity reveal bigger than the Empire Strikes Back moment where, you know, Vader says, I am your father to Luke. Honestly, I just feel like I've always expressed this before in the past. I just feel that you cannot top that moment only because of what it was at the time. Nobody was expecting that type of reveal in a Star Wars film. There was no internet back then. There were no, you know, uh, ideas floating around of certain revelations. Nobody was expecting anything of anything in that movie when it came to something on that level. So I think that that was the main reason as to why it was so iconic, not just in a Star Wars film, but also in pop culture as well. I mean, everybody knows about, you know, the I'm your father moment. A lot of uh, people, you know, actually have a common misconception of saying, Luke, I am your father, where really, it, you know, it is no, 
I am your father. So with that being said, guys, I will say that I'm very excited to see what JJ and George have in store for Rey's identity and how that's actually going to justify her powers. In of course the all in of course the past two Star Wars films and this movie in particular, all three movies, the fact that her identity is going to explain why she's so powerful, I think is a great thing and crucial thing by Disney and Lucasfilm that they are actually going to explain in this movie, and that's a step in the right direction because a lot of fans, you know, including myself, always wondered how in the world does she know the Jedi mind trick out of nowhere, or how in the world is she able to use a lightsaber just like that? You know, it really does raise a lot of questions and that's that's all going to be explained in this film. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the com comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.